Hey everyone, hello, it's Rick, welcome to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, which is the way I like it, I like the paint on the fly, but let's lay something in here. I'm going to do acrylic painting. Uh, I got some burnt umber on my fan brush here. Let's, let's do a quick design here so I know where the sky is going to be. Let's have a, I'm going to have a mountain uh, over on this side here, some peaks, and then uh, that way it gives me room over here for some big trees, okay, and then maybe we'll run some uh, uh, distant trees from here across coming up on the the mountain here we'll just put trees back across there uh, and then we'll have some water down in here let's run a let's run a hill though let's run a hill down here and Maybe we'll just have a river coming through here, and we'll we'll put some uh, different things in here on the land, pop-outs, so it actually looks like a, a river. So, just trying to get a rough layout here of what it could be. We'll have a lazy river coming down. And that gives us all this over here to work uh, some stuff in here. Some, I uh, have a, we'll have a hill, maybe uh, another hill in front here. We'll have one in the back. And this will be our foreground here. We'll have big trees coming from down here. Some smaller trees in here and some even smaller trees here and big trees over here let's let's do it I'm using acrylic I already mixed everything I'm gonna use a blue sky I'm gonna use a uh, a bristle brush to lay in the blue up there let's start with that blue I got ultramarine blue uh, got water right here dip your brush in the water get it wet grab some paint and let's put some color up in the sky here I'm gonna add a little gray in the corner here maybe some gray down here and here uh, a little more blue. Wet your brush. Get that paint to run up there. Let's grab a little white now. And let's lighten up this lower section with the light, light blue. I'll put a little purple down here. Just around the mountain. Just around the mountain top. Grab a little, uh, wet your brush, grab some white now, titanium white. Let's bring it down to the horizon, which is right in here. Now take your brush and add some white where I didn't quite uh, fill this in with blue. Just run a little bit of titanium white in there. Bring it into the painting. It'll, it'll look like clouds when I'm done blending it. Just put a little white in there. Just like that. Maybe we'll have some down here. I'll, I'll rinse your brush off now. This is a uh, inch and a half bristle brush okay you could get these at Michaels they're basically the brushes you use to put on your uh, 
uh, gesso. If you're going to put gesso down on a canvas, I'm going to blend my blue in here real quick and start blending into the white very lightly. Blend my purple in. These, these white spots will end up looking like distant clouds now, okay? Today I think I want, before I do the mountain, I actually want to do the, the clouds right now. So I'm going to use a uh, filbert brush. It's a number 10, I believe. And uh, let's lay in some clouds here. Maybe I'll have, uh, I'm just going to stamp in with uh, titanium white. I'm going to stamp in what would be the top of the cloud. I'm going to run the cloud all the way up to the top here. This is just the top part of it. Now start coming down a little. You could brush it. I, I'm actually brushing it in. It looks like I'm stamping it, but it, I'm going so fast that I call it stamping. Okay. Take your brush and uh, wipe it off. Now let's at the bottom of this cloud. Let's uh, pull it to the right. Just the bottom part. Just like that. Let's put another cloud right here the same way from the mountain. Just do the, uh, the top part of it first. We'll bring it right underneath that one there. Try and layer it in there. And stamp it down a little bit. This one, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, this blue to it, okay? Uh, I'm going to add a little blue. Just to make it look, uh, the clouds have different color in it, okay? Just like that. Same thing. You could use a, uh, if you have a, uh, a mop brush, you can use it or a fan blender brush to uh, pull the bottom. I'm running out of uh, paper towels. I got a rag here. Okay. Let's use a fan blender, blender brush. And at the bottom of your clouds now, let's blend them at the bottom. Just pull it to the right. We got some layered clouds there now. Let's uh, get some more white on your filbert brush. Now I'm going to run a cloud from here to the side here. I'm going to make this cloud over here a little rounder, a little bigger up here by just bringing it down a little with some paint. That looks good. Let's get that fan blender brush again and let's blend in the bottom of that cloud real quick. Let's blend the bottom part. I like to either pull it one way or the other, like that. <clears throat> Let's get a little bit of that blue now, and I'm going to separate these clouds right about here, and maybe right here. I'm going to try and make them look like uh, individual clouds there. This one here, if you put a little dark blue at the bottom 
you can almost make it look like a shadow in there. Add some blue. Let's get the blender brush now and lightly blend the top part now. Just lightly blend the, the cloud. All of them. Lightly blend it. Very good. I'm going to put one more across the middle and that's it. Uh, you guys can uh, put as many clouds in here as you want. I'm going to have this one come from behind that one. And pretty much go straight across. Just making the top of the cloud is what I'm doing. And then I'll add a little more white at the bottom to make it bigger. Now let's pull this one to the uh, left at the bottom. Just get some kind of blend on the bottom part of that cloud, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. Now get a little bit of your blue and let's separate these clouds. Just make each cloud uh, individual okay just like that it'll it'll help it look more layered okay and that look cool I really like that you can still do that with uh, this cloud here you can uh, come in with some blue and maybe uh, Try and separate this one. Just keep working on your, your sky. Okay. You can really come in here and make a, a, a lot of clouds. And separate the uh, cloud by putting some color right on the ed edge. Okay. Just like that. Doesn't that look cool? I'll put a little white up in here because I don't like the way that looks. Maybe run some kind of cloud in there. Just some color up in there. There we go. That'll work. All right, I like that. I'm going to have trees here, so I'm not really going to work this area here. All right, I mixed some gray. Paints gray with some white. And let's, let's do our mountain peak now. What I'm going to do is actually uh, wet your brush a little bit. I'm painting fast. Uh, put your mountain, design how many peaks you want first, okay? Your edge. And then you can start pulling your color down, okay? I'm going to start adding a little bit of white now at the bottom to make it lighter down here. Grab some titanium white now. Wet your brush a little. And grab a little bit of that gray up there and pull it down. And just fill the bottom part of this mountain with white down here, okay? Just like that. Now wipe your brush off and let's blend that white a little better into the mountain. I don't want to bring it up too high because I don't want the mountain to lighten up too much. That'll work because we're gonna put uh, I'm gonna put snow up on this mountain, so we're gonna let this dry though first. So I'm gonna keep coming down. Let's put our water in here now. I'm gonna use the same blue as I used uh, in the sky. Okay. Uh, take your filbert brush. 
Grab some paint, wet your brush, and put this water in horizontally, just like I'm doing. Wet your brush a little. This is the fun part. This is just the underpaint. We're not, we're not painting yet, okay? Well, we are painting, but we're just putting our underpaint on. Except I already did the clouds, so that was that was helpful getting the clouds done. The clouds usually take some time. All right, there's our water. That's going to be a river. I like that. Let's uh, get a little white now and lighten up the back of the water here with white. Just the back, the uh, back part of the water. It helps the water look further back, okay? So I'm going to use some different colors here. I got a, a hill here. I got a hill here and here. Let's make this one really light. Uh, I got, uh, I mixed yellow and uh, my favorite color to mix with raw sienna just some yellow and raw sienna and let's put that color in here because i'm going to have some dark trees coming over here i don't want to go over dark color right let's put a little bit of uh burnt umber in there to make some shadows in there maybe let's put some uh light green right here it's very light green don't worry about making it perfect just yet i'm just putting color on the ground right now okay this uh i think this is hooker green with yellow in it i lightened it up or i may have lightened it up with the uh raw sienna Put a little white in here to get some different flavors in there. See that? Dark spots, light spots. Down here, I'm going to use uh, some more of this yellow color. But I'm going to actually going to darken it up with some uh, burnt umber here in a second. Grab some burnt umber. And just really darken it up. I'll make this like some dirt down here. All right, there's our uh, underpaints done on that side. Take your fan brush real quick before it dries and get a light blend on it. You don't really have to blend it, but it might help the colors mix together. Back here, I'm going to use uh, the uh, golden color. I'll call it golden color. It's yellow and uh, raw sienna mix. So I'm going to have this river kind of winding down. We'll have a little outcrop there. I bring this a little more. All right, fill that in. We're going to have dark trees over here too, so I wanted a light color over here. Add, uh, get a little uh, of the uh, burnt umber and right here where the water's coming in on this ledge take some of that burnt umber and let's pull some dark color there and on this one just like that maybe a little in the back just blend it in there get some dark shadows going in there Okay, just so it's not all 
uh, yellow. And that look cool? That's a cool underpaint. Let's have some fun now. So let's put some trees here in the water. And then we'll put some trees here on this grass. And then we'll put a big tree on the edge over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, I mix some, uh, made my special green. <laughs> If you want to make it, it's fine. It's uh, half and half raw sienna and thalo uh, canine blue. Half and half, and you'll get this cool looking green color, okay? So I'm going to take some of that green color, but I'm going to add a little, a little white to it. Just to make some uh, uh, bushes real quick down on the, the water's edge here. Just going to make a few bushes here. Take your brush and wipe it off and let's pull to the right underneath those bushes just pull it out a little let's uh let's put a small roll of bushes uh right here coming up this green part i'm going to highlight all these so basically i'm just putting color in for now these don't have to be perfect okay I'm going to have a big tree here, so I'm not going to go any further. Pull this to the right now, underneath those bushes. And let's put some bushes here where the big tree is going to go. Just put some color in because I'm going to highlight all these. And then let's pull to the right. I'll leave some of that brown down there. I like that color. Let's, uh, I feel like we need to run. That's far enough because I'm going to have trees here. I don't want to have to go over them. Let's do our trees here. I'll show you what I'm thinking about. I'm going to use that color that I made by mixing those two colors, the blue and the, uh, raw sienna and let's put a few trees uh i hope i didn't just kill the sound uh let's put a few trees right here i just want to show you we're gonna have some trees right here use the corner of your brush and make an evergreen tree right here okay i'm gonna do one more next to it and then not too high because uh, we got to do the snow on the mountain next another tree there I'm thinking I can I can get away with it let's just put all the trees in here that I want I'll put one more here okay and now let's put a big a bigger one over here I'm I just I'm designing this on the fly so I kind of like it already it looks kind of cool uh, I can kind of see what's gonna happen I'm just getting sloppy with my tree here. I don't want it to look perfect. Just putting color down. Let's put a big tree over here now. I'm going to grab my bigger fan brush. A number... Uh, a number four fan brush. I thought I had a bigger one than that. I do somewhere, but this is big enough. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to... I'm going to put a big tree here. Okay, 
And I'm going to come down pretty fast with my uh, leaves on this evergreen tree so it looks cool, okay? I'm going to stamp in and come down pretty fast and then I'll design it once I get the color in there. Okay, i fix the top a little here. All right, I kind of like that. Doesn't that look natural? I'm going to put one more one down here that comes out. Fill in the middle just a little. I'm going to try and leave some of this golden color in here, okay? I didn't mean to cover all that up, okay? Now you can come in here and add <clears throat> to your branches if you want in the sky. Doesn't that look cool? This side's pretty much almost done. Looks pretty good. Let me try, I'm gonna get a smaller fan brush and put a point up here. There we go, that looks better. These trees look really cool when they have uh, the point on top. I'm gonna highlight this real quick with uh, a little light blue and white just mix a little bit of the sky and some white and get a light blue and let's come in here and highlight I'm just gonna do the the right side first here now the left here just the top part of the branches Maybe some branches here in the middle. Just get a little highlight on there. Doesn't that look cool? See how it stands out now from the ones back there? Let's uh, show you how to highlight these bushes down here. Put a, get, get your fan brush. I'm using an oil fan brush, by the way. This is a number two. Let's start with... Uh, let's start with a bush down here and then let's kind of layer them in here and get higher as you come back okay just like that just do that first and let it set on your eye and see how you like it I, I kind of like it already it looks like we got four bushes in there same thing here on uh, with the white we'll start down here at the right and uh, just tap in some color. And as you go back, go higher and higher, okay? And you'll get separation on your bushes here, okay? It's an easy way to make bushes. I mean, if you want to spend more time and make them look better, you can. But I'm just showing you an easy way to get some bushes in there. Uh I'm going to highlight this tree here. I'm going to rinse my brush off and get just a little white on it. I'm just going to highlight, uh, I'm going to dab my brush because I don't want that much white. Uh, I'm just going to come down the right side, okay, with some white color. I'm going to drape it. That's what I call, call it, putting a dress on it. Maybe these two. Just on the right side, just drape it down. Put a dress on them. It gives them a little dimension, okay? This side is pretty much done. Let me see how far I'm running. 30 minutes. Wow. That's all right. That's all right. These are taking a little longer than I thought, so... Let's do the snow on the mountain. I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, use a filbert brush here and uh, come on the right side of your peak let's just pull a little snow down on each peak real quick uh, just to see what's going on here I want to see uh, how I really want this I want to tuck this guy uh, 
this one in the front. So what I'm going to do is pull this snow a little more to the right on this uh, smaller front and bring it down like this. That'll tuck this mountain behind it in the back. I bring this snow down like this. Going to be less snow on those back there because they're even further back. That looks good. Mix a little bit of your uh, blue, gray, and white together. I don't want to use purple on the mountain because it it never. It doesn't look right. Uh, this is a bluish gray. So I'm going to add a little bit of bluish gray to the left of everywhere I put snow up there. Real loosely. Uh, work fast because gonna, we're going to blend those two colors in here in a second. As the paint dries fast, wet your brush a little. Come up to the white and pull to the left. Try and grab a little bit of the white if you can while it's wet. I shouldn't have been looking at it so much. Wipe your brush off and where the two colors meet. Uh, blend those two colors together real quick while it's wet. Even the bottom part. Just get a blend on those two. So it doesn't have a hard edge. Even on the bottom. Now grab a little white. Wet your brush and grab some titanium white. And let's put some white at the bottom of the mountain here. Okay. Just rub it in there. I keep grabbing a little green. But that's alright. It, it might look end up looking cool. But there we go. Doesn't that look cool? A wicked mountain. And if you want, after this dries, you can brighten up your snow up there by just adding a little more white. But wait till it dries because it's going to soak in. It's going to soak in. So uh, take some of that green, the dark green, and mix a little white into it. The green I use to make these trees. And put some white in it to make it lighter. Uh, we're going to put a row of trees back here. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is just line, line the back of the mountain with a row of trees. Starting from here, just stamp in the top part first with your brush. And I'm going to come higher over here. And bring it down to the golden color. Okay, now with your brush, wipe it off. And underneath the color, pull it to the left at the bottom. Just pull it to the left. Okay, now if you can, take the corner of your brush while it's wet. And you can pull up. But use the corner. Of the brush and let's pull up on those maybe we'll get some uh, it'll look like distant evergreen trees and that look cool yeah I really like that that looks cool let's add a little white to your fan brush right now let's see what happens if we run a little white coming back from underneath these trees Just at the bottom, pull some white. Just like that. Added some cool stuff in here. Let's put a... What I want to do is uh, line this water with uh, some bushes now. I'm going to use my fan brush and just use the dark color that I got right now. And come down here and... At the water's edge, just pull up 
right at the water's edge just to make some kind of uh, like uh, shrubs down here okay at the bottom of the water maybe pull it up more here because it's closer just like that that's good enough let's put a few down here right on the water's edge just pull up make some cool bushes down here pull it right up into the water very good I kind of like that uh, I'm going to grab another number two fan brush and put white on it and I'm going to try and run some water uh, on the edge to lighten up the water now. I had to get some more white. Uh, So this is this is an oil number two fan brush again. I keep hitting my camera. I hope I'm not killing the sound. When you pull this white out, pull it horizontal from the edge of the land. Okay. Keep the brush horizontal at the bottom of these bushes. Pull it horizontal. Okay. You could pick up some of the color. That's fine. That'll make it look cool. Okay, pull it less and less back here. See, doesn't that look cool? That's the water coming down. Let's uh, fill this in down here. Put a few white marks coming down the river now. It's just an easy way to do it. Ends up looking pretty good. I like it. What we're going to do now is we're going to have one tree here coming over all this stuff, maybe uh, halfway into the mountain there, okay? A dark tree. I like all this light color back there, so... But we, we need something on this side. So let's just make that tree about the height of this one here. This is up on a hill. So maybe, maybe just a little taller than this one. So maybe right, in, right into here. Stamp your trunk down. And use the corner of your brush. I'm just laying them in straight out, coming down fast so I get some separation because I want some of the I want some of the uh, orange to show through that golden color. Fill in the middle just a little at the bottom. Print your brush off and we'll grab a little more of that. I don't have any more blue, so I'm just going to use uh, straight titanium white. These are already highlighted up here, so I'm going to hit some white just on the top part. Of some of these branches okay just so you can see the, the tree doesn't that look cool you can uh, line you could keep lining your river with more uh, shrubs back here just uh, take your fan brush at the edge and just put some color you know, some bushes right on the edge. Make them really small though, okay? 
all the way back you could probably just tap it in there all the way down the river maybe let's run uh, some color out in here too okay that looks good I really like that it really looks cool let's see where I'm running 40 minutes I think I'm gonna have to call it an end here you can put some more bushes right on this edge here or you can darken it up uh, I'm not going to do it put either darken it or uh, this edge and lighten it up to make it look like uh, you can do something in this grass lighten it up uh, I'm going to try and get my liner brush right now I found another one that's uh, a little bigger than the one I had yesterday. I'm trying to put uh, a few twigs in here. You really got to get that paint wet for it to uh, make some cool twigs coming out of your bushes here, okay? I'm not going to do it too many because I just don't want to, you to watch me making twigs. But I'll do this after I shut the camera off. Put them in between your trees. Okay, everywhere. Put those twigs everywhere. Okay. And I'm going to run a couple birds up there with some white, titanium white. I'm using my pinky to uh, hold my hand steady. See my pinky here? And you can do detail work with your, uh, with your pinky down because it's all dry now. That's about all I'm going to do. You can keep working it, okay? Uh, I'm going to do a few more things before I'm done with it, but... It's already over 40 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed that one. That, that one I just designed on the fly, so still needs a little few more things, but I kind of like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe so I can get up to a thousand subscribers. I can go live. All right, cool. Thanks. Cheers.